In my previous video, you saw how to make MPVD solar charging controller system and its working principle. That was pretty cool, right? As I promised you in today's video, I'll show you my inverter setup. So here you can see this is my inverter setup. This is a high frequency inverter. This inverter is very efficient. See here, only 80 milliampere current are consuming without any load. So as a result, this inverter is really comfortable for a solar system. On the other hand, in today's video, we'll also see how to assemble my DIY MPPT solar charging controller system in my storeroom step by step. So don't miss any part, keep watching my video. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB and EasyEDA. And I have been using EasyEDA for the last 5 years to make my PCB. In the same way, today's PCB I made in EasyEDA software. And with that, even you can order your PCB at JLCPCB from EasyEDA. The JLCPCB has came up with an excellent offer for you. First time any user register on JLCPCB website, you will get a free coupon of $18. This is really awesome, right? Other hand, you will also receive free coupon every month on SMT order. So, without wasting any more time, grab this wonderful offer by visiting the JLCPC website. Link is in the description box. Okay, here you can see this is my MPPT solar charging controller board. This is quite big. So, that is why for the low budget, I am using here a junction box. This kind of junction box you can easily find in any electronic shop. And even you can see my controller board is fitting very nicely in it. So, next I am mark the USB output port and cut it with very carefully. After that, I tt it with my file for good finishing. After that, now I am ready to mount this junction box in my storeroom on a wooden block. So that is why here I am using a screw for proper tight. And after that, I mount my MPPT slot charging controller board in this junction box with my screwdriver as I did earlier. And I hope you know, here I am using 24 liquid crystal display. So that is why I measured the LCD diameter and exactly the same size as my LCD. I cut out the top cover of the junction box and here you can see my LCD is fitting very nicely this junction box's top cover. And now I'm going to write this LCD with a nut bolt and see my LCD is fitting very nicely. With that I also cut out the amp and voltmeter even to switches and also for LEDs. I am also fitted this volt and amp meter and next I use two switches here. One is for reset another is for backlight on. Also here I am using four LEDs. And after that I connected every wire with very carefully because this is the main part of pop out working process. Right? Okay, here you can see everything is mounted very well. And you know guys I am using here 90 ampere battery. This is pretty dangerous. So that is why here I am going to use 20 ampere NCB. Because I don't want my inverter is fry if everything is going wrong. So that is why I mount this NCB box in my wooden block and after then I try to fit this NCB with this frame. Eventually I will try to connect my battery's positive terminal with this NCB. And other end I connect my MPPT solar charging controller board. With that I also connect the ground and negative wire directly to this MPPT solar charging board. Ok you can see the first step is ready. Now I have to put the top cover of this NCB. Beside one thing that is left, that is solar wire need to connect this MPPT solar charging controller board. So that is why I connect this positive and negative terminal with this MPPT solar charging board. I know guys you are waiting for the inverter. Ok, you can see this is my inverter setup. Here I am using SG3525 IC to generate the PWM signal. This is quite popular IC for inverter and hopefully that you know. See, this is our inverter schematic. In my case, this IC produces 69 kilohertz signal, maybe your case will be different. And this signal is driven by two MOSFET for amplitude the signal for my high frequency transformer. I think the main difficult part is this transformer, right? Ok, ok, don't worry, see that. So that is why I open a computer ATX power supply. And here you can see this kind of transformer is always using in this kind of SMPS. Just you need to remove this transformer and make your good inverter. Easy, right? And remember one thing, this is a high frequency inverter, so that is why here I am using 4 ultrafast diode for making DC output. And obviously you need a capacitor for a smooth DC volt. Ok guys, next here I am going to use a shunt resistor because I want to make sure the output load of this battery. So that is why I soldered this shunt resistor on a copper dot board. Next I want to mount this board in this MPPT boxes. Ok ok, this is my fault, when I made this PCB I need to think about this shunt resistor, it is my fault. Oops. It is break. Ok, finally I am able to fit it. Next I mount my inverter board on my wooden block with some nut and bolt. And I put this inverter's negative wire in this MPPT boxes and I connect this negative wire with the shunt resistor and the other end wire I connect with negative. And positive wire directly I connect the output load, I mean positive connection. Ok, now in the same way I have to connect the top plate of this MPPT boxes. 
so that is why at first i remove all leds that are already installed on this board and i connect all leds wired with this board and as well as the common ground next i connect this sun tester sensor wire this will go my volt and amp meter and after then i have to connect this reset and backlight switches wired with this pcb mounted switches and guys that's it you are done so definitely i close the top plate of this m50 solar charging controller board and tighten with it with some screw and see the getup this is really looks awesome right okay now time for the final test so that is why i am using a ac junction boxes for ac output and i attach this output junction boxes wired with this inverter now you can see the whole thing is done now time to turn on everything and i hope that you know this pcb i had ordered from glc pcb this pcb is cover file you can find in the description box and i am happy to announce to you glc pcb recently released the new aluminium pcb for more information you can visit their website so i turn on the ncb and you can see my lcd is showing me the everything correctly even you can see my inverter is consuming only 0.8 milliampere this is really great efficiency for a solar inverter even you can see the lcd and this amp meter voltage is pretty much similar now i want to load this inverter here at first i am loaded 100 watt lamp and you can see the lamp is growing very well even that you can see consuming roughly 6.5 ampere current and after then i loaded 200 watt lamp and you can see that also glowing very easily even i am also loading 300 watt lamp that also glowing very easily Please note guys this inverter is not for induction motor or induction transformer because induction motor is running in 50 to 60 hertz signal but i have seen so many video on youtube that this high frequency inverter are running induction motor without 60 hertz converter i don't know how they are running but in my calculation it is not possible but the good news is the charger i mean smps laptop charger even led lamp tube lamp soldering iron you can run it very easily because this kind of application has own frequency oscillation frequency so in my future video i made a 50 to 60 hours output switching board for induction motor okay one thing is left that is this esp8266 wi-fi system see in my phone the wi-fi signal in my mp3 scroll setting controllers just you need to connect this wi-fi signal and open your browser or application and sign up for it and provide your apk id and you can see your daily data how much what is being generated okay guys this is a short video for today if you don't like this video definitely you can dislike it and if you like it then you can subscribe to my channel see you in the next one